for today if possible. My old man's got a really bad toothache. Uh, yeah, hold on one sec. Let me see. Uh, hey, Pa, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, uh, how bad would you say your pain level is? <laughs> Alright, uh, probably about a 5. <laughs> if I say 10, will that get us in any quicker? Okay, 10. Alright, alright, we'll be there. Alright, thank you. Alright, bye. Alright, Pa, get dressed. Let's go. Check out Dr. Chip, so I did. Well, go for your slippers. All right, Pa, come on, we gotta get you in here. Oh. Come on, Pa. Uh, hi, uh, I called earlier. We have an appointment for the name is Terrell Dactyl, it should be under. Oh, are you Junior? Dr. Chip is ready to see you now. Hey! Uh, all right, Pa, let's get you in there. Come on in, Terrell. Oh. Have a seat. Let's get a look at them chompers. All right, Bob. Come on and take a load off. You good? All right, Bob. We'll get you taken care of. Don't worry. I don't have to drop my drawers, do I? Why would you think that? No, I thought you were just having a toothache. Oh, okay, good. Okay, open wide. Oh, oh that last chewing tooth in the back has got to come out. Oh, oh great. You're, you're going to put me under for this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I'll be sure to put you under. So let me get you comfortable first. Oh, that's nice. All right, let me give you the anesthetics. I think these will do just fine. Whoa, 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 Doc! Is that tool sterilized? Surprising that that tooth came out of a pterodactyl. Looks more like it came out of a woolly mammoth. 
home, everybody. Pterodactyl here. You like my shirt? This was sent from uh, fans of ours over there in England. The Jonesies. Yeah, baby. Thanks, Jonesy. Okay, today we're going to work on this RX-75 John Deere. We're going to change all the belts. And let me tell you something. This thing isn't easy to work on. Most of you are going to, halfway through the video, are going to go, you know what? Forget that. I'm going to pay somebody to fix it. All right. So, first thing we're going to do is take the battery out. Disconnect the battery, unpull the seat switch, and take the battery out. The reason we're going to do that is once we get the deck off, we're going to flip it on its side. Second thing we're going to do is jerk the deck off. And that's going to be hard to do. It's not an easy task, but I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to need a floor jack, a jack stand, and that block of wood which we're going to use when we go to put it back on. So, take the deck, lower it all the way down. Get it as low as it can go because we got to take the belt off from the front. Now you might want to get something to lay on too. I always got a cushion. I got an old chair cushion. Now I jacked up the front of the mower. I put the jack underneath the steering rods and then that, that lowers it some. So now we got some pins to remove. Here's one. Now take this out. Now you might need some needle nose pliers for that. And then you got one here, right here, Mr. Cameraman. And that's for the deck engagement. And if you notice, there's a washer on top. So remember that. I'll get that one from the other side. And then you got two in the front here. Two of these pins. Now, this hitch pin goes in between this yellow arm and this bracket. So when you go to reinstall it, remember that. It doesn't go to the outside, it goes in between, right here. And again, you're going to have to get some kind of pliers to pull them out. Now. I'm going to go ahead and set it back down when I pull those pins out. And then here, here's another thing right here. Half inch wrench. Just loosen this up. Move that belt guide out of the way so you can get this belt off. Then there's a guide here. Move it off of there. And there's a guide back here. This one you can just pull back on. It's a little spring loaded. And then we're going to go around the other side and take this, take this link off. Pull this out, pull this clip out. Remember I said there's a washer on top. I'm just going to go ahead and stick this back in so I don't lose it. Now, right here, this is like a brake for the belt. So you got to take your hand and move this out of the way so we can get the belt off. And it's kind of tight. It's not easy. There. There, you got to really pull on that. All right, now we got the belt off. Now I'm going to lower this back down, pull these pins, the two in the front that I showed you, and then I'm going to take this link off the back. And then we have to jack up the back of the tractor to roll the deck out. That's the easiest way to do it. So lower the jack, turn the wheel, you can get to this big pin, maybe grab the front of the deck helps, and you can lift up on it, take some pressure off, see and it comes out. I'm going to do the same on the other side, turn the wheels, grab the front of the deck, all right, now the back, back link. 
Light that off. Now I'm going to go ahead and raise the deck back up, the lever, to get that out of the way. Now I'm going to jack up the back of the tractor a little bit. Get in a good spot. Hold that belt out of the way, make sure it don't get hooked on nothing. Now I can get this out. So, and then lower it back down. Good job. Alright, Mr. Cameraman. Let's take a look at this deck. Since you got it off, might as well take a look at it. Spin your, your pulleys. Yeah, this one don't sound good. Listen to it. It's not spinning free. Should be replaced. This one, that don't sound good either. This, look at this. Looky here. Wobbly, wiggly, wobbly. Bearings and that spindle should be replaced. So since you got it apart, if yours are doing any of that, you might as well address it. I'm going to have to call this guy and sell him on uh, replacing all this. All right. So let's get the deck out of the way. Now you need your jack stand. Don't lose your pins and your clips. Now, we want to tilt it this way. We want the spark plug up. Because if we tilt it the other way, gas is going to leak out of the gas tank. Oil is going to get in the head. So we want to tilt it this way. Spark plug gas cap up. And then get a jack stand, and we're going to put that underneath the steering wheel. There. Just like that. Now we can see everything underneath. And look. Look at this belt. This is a... This guy, this is bad. And this is the one for the drive, look, it's all twisted. Now, this ain't easy to change these belts. It's a pain in the keister. All right, here's a belt guide here. Take note of it. See where it goes? See the position it's in? Half inch. All you gotta do is loosen it. Now. When you go to reinstall it, you can't touch the pulley. You don't want to do that. Somebody did that. See, it started wearing into it. So when you reinstall it, make sure it's clear. Stands off a little bit. You don't have to take it off. All you got to do is loosen it. Now there's another one in the back. Here's the one in the back. It's on a slot. Same thing. Just loosen it. Don't take it off. Slide it back. Now we can get this belt off. That drove the, the deck. That drove the mower blade. Now we got to move on to this. We got to get this off. All right, I'm just going to cut this belt off because you're going to be replacing it anyway. So get something to cut it with. I'm trying to cut it with this. That's hard. Maybe I didn't nip at it. So whatever you can use to cut it, maybe I should have used razor knife. There we go. I'm nipping away. Now this is the primary belt. Primary meaning one, meaning the first belt. And then there's the secondary belt. Now, you gotta use the belts that go on here. I got the actual John Deere belts for this model. This is that RX-75. Look up your model. 
make sure you get the right belt and I'm going to tell you why. These belts, these variator belts, got special angle and they're a little fatter in the metal. You can't use just a standard V belt. You can't go to the auto parts store and go, oh, give me 5 8 belt. Oh, it measures 43 inches. Oh, yeah, that belt will work. It ain't going to work. It'll work a little bit. It might drive, but it ain't going to drive like it's supposed to. Get the correct belt. Now, I looked up some other models of these and found the specs on it and certain models are different like this one's 25 degrees I looked up an XRX I think it was 75 John Deere and it was 22 degrees now I don't know if that would make a difference or not but it might so make sure you use the correct belt so I got these marked for this RX 75 primary and secondary OEM John Deere belts Went to the John Deere dealer and got them. And there's part numbers. Alright, now I'm going to take off that secondary belt. That's the one behind it. See, way back in here. It's tucked in the back. See, another idler way down here. This belt's bad too, so we're going to take that one off next. Alright, I cut the secondary belt off. Now, that's got a spring-loaded idler up here. Now you gotta have some strength to pull this down. Now I'm pulling that arm down by this rod. See this rod? This is the rod here. Follow that rod goes to the back. Now I'm holding that down. Now, you're gonna take a long screwdriver and you're going to come around to the back. Now, Mr. Cameraman, you got to get around to the back. Now, I'm holding that down. I'm holding that spring tension down. And I'm going to shove that screwdriver in between that rod and this lever. Between here and here. You might need to hold that because I ain't got three hands. I ain't an octopus. Give me flashlight now. All right, see? See how I got that? I got it shoved between that rod and that arm. Maybe you can see it better over here. This is tricky now. See, there's a the screwdriver. See, it's wedged up into the engine block and it's down here and it's gonna hold that down for you. So you can put that belt on. We want that to be secure because you don't want that to come snapping up on you. You're going to get hurt like a snapping turtle, snipping your hands off or your fingers or whatever's in the way. So see how I use that screwdriver to hold that down. Now we can go ahead and snake that secondary belt in there. I told you this wasn't going to be easy. This is, this is hard. This is tricky. If it's too tricky for you, turn the video off now. Alright, secondary belt. See, I marked it secondary. Got to give you the flashlight so you can see in there. Alright, now, I want to snake it in on top of the trans here. Both hands, you're going to have to give it a wiggle's worth. Get it in there. Get it up over here. I don't have it around that back pull yet, but I got it pretty much started. All right, now loosen this belt guide up. 10 millimeter wrench. Loosen this up. Don't take it off, just loosen it. Shove it in. There we go. Now I can come back here and work this belt around the trans. There we go, see? All right, now I got it resting on there. Now when I pull screwdriver out, that thing's gonna spring up, put tension on it. 
So I got it around the back trans pulley and I got it around here. All right, here we go. I'm full screwdriver out. There you go. All right, that's one. That's the secondary. Now we got to put the primary on and that goes all up and down and around and everywhere else. So let's take a break. I need a beer. Alright, now we're going to move on to the primary belt, sports fans. And that one comes off the engine and comes up to this V pulley here and then goes underneath this flat pulley and then around the variator and then back down. So this pulley here is held on by this half inch nut. So all I got to do is loosen that up And then there's a belt guide on here. Now, that belt guide has got a slot in it. That slot fits into one of these fins on the top part of the trans. So when you go to tighten that back down, make sure that slot is in that fin on the trans because that holds it in place for you. So now we got this loose and we can move this out of the way so we can get that belt, we can snake that belt in which we're going to do from down here. We're going to start down here by snaking it in and then start routing it around. So the cameraman's got to hold the flashlight. I told you, this is a tricky one. This ain't easy. And then, you know, sometimes because it's flat, you got to turn it like this to snake it in there. A lot of muscling going on. This ain't easy. If it was easy, everybody would be a lawnmower mechanic. Come on, baby. Got to push and pull. All right. Oh, now I got snap. Oh, look at that. All right. See, we leave these mistakes in. It makes it better. Who wants a perfect video? Those are boring. This is more fun. All right, now I'm going to raise it up, bring it up. Around here, we're going to bring it up. Now I gotta kinda turn it to get it around there and twist it, snake it up in there. There we go. See, I got it up. Go up here, cameraman. I got it up above. Now I gotta get it, there we go. There we go on there. Now I gotta get it up in here. So I'm gonna take it back off of that to give me some slack. Snake it up. I know some of you are looking at this and you're thinking, geez, how do I get this thing on here? I'm going to have to take all this stuff off. No, you don't. Just a lot of snaking around. Now I can get it on the engine. You just got to muscle it. There we go. All right. Give me that flashlight for you. So we're down here. We're up here, we're under here, and we're around this. So now I can take this and lock it back on. That fin got a lot of feeling in the dark here. Both hands. All right, I feel it's on that fin on the top. Now I can tighten this back down. Now another thing you can do is you can pull this back down if you want and put that screwdriver back in there and that'll give you some more room between here and there and you can get that belt in a little easier if you want. Or you can just snake it in. I like to snake it in because it makes it tougher. Alright, so I'm going to tighten all this up. Then we're going to try it and make sure it drives. Okay. I'm going to test it. I'm going to put it back on its, on its tires and put the battery in and we're going to test it before we put the deck back on. But I just wanted to touch on this back belt guide. I just kind of snugged it up because when you test drive it, you don't want that to fall off, especially if you're working on this in the grass. So I just snugged it up for now because we're going to have to uh, adjust that when we put the belt on for the mower deck. But you want to test it first before you go putting it all back together. Because what if you didn't get something right? Then you're pulling the deck and everything back up. So I'm going to go ahead and 
Stand it back up and put the battery in. We got the battery and we're ready to start it up and take it for a drive. You know what this thing needs? A beer holder. Sorry about that, mister. this back up putting that in position and the reason I forgot to tell you that because I was drinking beer so put that back get your 10 millimeter wrench tighten that belt guide up and again we had to tip it on its side so we had to take the battery back out again now this belt for the deck is just a half inch by 63 inch belt so you can get you know that from John Deere if you want, or you can just get this half by 63 inch belt. So you gotta wanna put it around here first. And then remember this belt guide here I told you about? Now we gotta put this in position. And now we're gonna tighten this up. See, we don't want that rubbing. We want to keep that away. Half inch wrench, we're going to tighten that up. And then we got the one in the back too. So you got to have to reach your hand in there. Remember this one here? So you got to reach in the back and see where that one is. This one's mainly for the variator belt. So I could feel that it's in a good spot right here so I'm gonna leave that one right there and then I'm gonna tighten that down so now we got this hanging like this so now we can go ahead and put it back on its tires and slide that deck under there and then the guy gave me the okay so I went ahead and put all the new pulleys on and put the new bearings in that <laughs> Alright, I had to jack it up a little bit after I flopped it on top of the deck. And that's so I can get this up. Because we gotta get this in here. Now you can let it down. And we gotta put them pins back in in the front here. And we gotta lower the deck. Come back over here. To get that, get this down to go onto that pin. And then we gotta put the belt on and we gotta hook up this, hook this back up. So we're gonna do all that. All right, we got this pin in, but this is the tricky part because this quick pin has got to go in between here and here. 
So that hole in that quick pin, you want to have up and down, 90 degrees. See? Shine it in there, Mr. Cameraman. Show them where that is. See how that is? That's between there and there. That's the tricky part. I don't know why they did that. They should have just made that pin longer and had it where the pin came out over here where you can get at it. All right, now we got to pull this arm back far enough to get this brake away so we can get this belt down. But it doesn't come exactly far enough away. Now, I got this thing jacked up a little bit. If you jack it up too high, the belt will be too short. So what you got to do is hold it back and then you're going to have to take the blade, use the blade as a lever, and try to work that, that belt through there, or push on it with your hands, but it ain't going to be easy. I don't know why they did it this way. See, now you get it past that brake part. And then we need the belt on this side of this, we need it on this side of here, and then I need to put it on here, like this. Like I said, this isn't an easy lawnmower to work on. Got to get it past this guy. There we go. All right. Now, we need to hook this up. Remember what I said when we took it off? Washer on top. This is the deck engagement. That fits in that slot. And then you gotta put your quick pin in the bottom. We got one more connection to go and then I gotta put the battery back in. And that's where we bring this I know why they charge so much money to work on these lawnmowers. This is where our block of wood comes in. All right, there's our block of wood, two by four, flip down its side to hold it up in the front. Then you come back here, and you're gonna have to take your hand and go underneath the back of the deck to get that on. And then slide it on enough to get that in. I told you this this lawnmower is not easy to work on because it's so compact. All right, got our quick pin in. Now we can raise the deck back up. Take that block out. Put our battery in, and then we're gonna kick the blades on it and we're going to be done with this. Oh, thank you. All right, got the battery in. We're going to fire it up and try the deck now and make sure the belt's okay. There's your dinner. All right, looks like uh, everything went well. Well, wake them up now, Doc. Cheryl, be sure to see Snarl on your way out.
He's in room three. Dr. Chip's about to perform a root canal on him. Oh, wow. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be slippers. <laughs> Flipper, are you ready for your root canal? <laughs> Open wide. Carol, since you were such a good patient, here's the toy box. Whoa! Oh, goody, goody, oh, goody! Oh, oh, quit hogging, Bob! Oh, look at this! Look. I don't know if I should take the dinosaur set or the mermaid girl. What do you think, Junior? I don't know, dinosaur, Dad. Those are cool. All right. Thank you, Dr. Chip. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Chip. Boys, very welcome.